Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, nature. Okay, well you could be getting out into nature today. Growth and peace, okay, and a whole lot of focus. So um, I'm getting that you are manifesting, okay? Um, and when you manifest, you have to keep your thoughts in, like specifically on what you want in your life, okay? Be careful because the things that you think about, the things that you put out there and say to the universe too, um, those are the things that are going to become your reality. So I always try to get people to at least read up on um, the law of attraction. You guys Google it. Read up on it. Um, there's also a movie about it. Um, it's called The Secret. If you guys can find that movie, it's a documentary. It's a documentary about the law of attraction and manifesting your dreams. Okay. Um, definitely read up on it at least um, because I feel like right now we're in this new moon energy. It kind of lingers for me for about four days, okay? Um, and this is a, a beautiful manifestation period. Very, very powerful manifestation time, okay? So I feel like you need to keep your vibes high. You need to remain calm, right? Um, and um, yeah, focus on your growth and expansion in the future, things that you want in your future and hold your focus on those happy, positive things. And I'm telling you, um, and put it out there to the universe, you know, the words that you speak as well, um, that those things are going to come into your reality. That's what's going to happen for you. Like um, if you're walking around saying, you know, I'll never have this or I'll never have that, right? If you're in the feeling of lack, you know what I mean? Like there's not enough or, um, you know, you'll never make ends meet, that kind of thing. Those are things that you're just going to get more of. So if you, if you switch your focus, right, um, switch the way that you're thinking and just say, tell the universe, I'm going to have... I will have this much money by, you know, um, in six months, or I will have this huge opportunity that comes to me, or I will, I will um, not and dream big. I was going to say, I, I will get my head out of, you know, out of whatever issue. I'll climb out of this hole. No, no, no. You've got to reach for the stars when you manifest, baby. Like, make it big, right? Um, yes, and focus on that. Don't focus on the negative. Focus on the positive things that you want in your life because that's what you're calling in for you. Anything that you're focused on, that's what you're going to get, okay? So watch the self-talk right now, especially the I nevers and I can'ts and I, you know, throw that all out the window. When it comes to manifesting, you have to truly believe in yourself and know that it's limitless, okay? And, and um, when you focus on it, try to, try to believe that you already have it, that it's already in, you know, coming towards you or on the way, right? Kind of imagine the universe as already um, creating it for you, you know? Um, they're showing me a bunch of little elves, <laughs> a bunch of little elves working on making those toys, okay? Um, you have to kind of think about it that way. As soon as you think it, as soon as you say it, the universe is working on it already. So be very mindful of what you're pulling into your future now, okay? Especially right now in the energy that we're in. Um, I'm also seeing you getting outside into nature. You could be feeling very in touch with nature right now. Maybe you're, um, you could be having some predictions on the weather. That's happened to me um, a few times in the last week, okay? Um, you could be watching a lot of tarot, learning how to read tarot, or you could be a tarot card reader. It doesn't even have to be about tarot. You could have some intuitive abilities that you're sharing with other people. 
you may also notice right now at this time that a lot of people in like um, strangers even in public no matter where you go they kind of want to be around you okay <laughs> like um, I always say you know um, I'll use this settings as an example I will go to a store and I will be looking um, in a secluded area in the store know what the aisle is absolutely empty and as soon as I get in there like you know, there's like seven people who are just like hoarding into that aisle, blocking me in with shopping carts, wanting my energy to stay where it is so they can like bathe in it or something. That's kind of how it may be feeling for you right now. Like uh, anywhere you go, I feel like people just want to come straight to you, okay? Because it's that energy that you're given off here, all right? Um, you could be um, noticing something about birds. Birds could be around you all the time, or um, maybe you're seeing a big flock of them, like, fly off or something like that. That's a confirmation for somebody that this could be for you. Or just as I say that, some bird just, like, flies out of a bush and scares the crap out of you. That's for someone, not for all of you, though, okay? But, um, yeah... Somebody here could also be pregnant or just finding out that you're pregnant as well, okay? Or um, you're starting a new creative idea. I feel like um, you are going out, you're going to be um, going out into nature and getting grounded and stable. And maybe you'll spend like an hour out there just being thankful to the divine, right? realizing that um, you've been given some God-given gifts here. Oh, boy. And somebody has walked away from an empress. Oh, boy. Yes. That's a yes. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you're blocking out of your life. Uh, and I feel like you have a new emperor coming in, okay? I feel like this person that walked away from you, they're not the emperor. This is somebody completely different. I'm kind of getting that there may be somebody who um, was an actual karmic individual that you may have thought was your emperor, but they're not. Your true soulmate connection is about to arrive, so, yes, and it's going to be wish fulfillment, okay? And this person from your past, there's nothing that they're going to be able to do to stop it. Um, this is heavy competition for somebody. Yeah, I feel like there's a person from your past that's going to have to walk away. Um, for them to be out on your spread, they're thinking about you collective, but you're about to get a new emperor, or empress take it how it resonates you're already in this empress energy okay so you're attracting new love new opportunities to you like a magnet and this is a true soulmate this is your true soulmate connection coming in this this new person I feel is your destiny okay <laughs> yes yeah, you're, you're already moving on here. You've got other options coming. See these, all these options right now? You're attracting everything to you like a, like a magnet. I'm not kidding. That's what the Empress does. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a tickle in my throat. I feel like somebody is about to approach you. You're about to meet someone new. Um, and, uh, you know, you could be pregnant already. Maybe you've already met somebody new. You've already, you could have already found your emperor moving on, right? And this person from your past, they're having to walk away because they know they can't compete with an emperor. All right? Whether you have, are already with this new person You know, if you're already with them, I feel like you guys are going to be moving in together and somebody could um, have a baby on the way. Okay, but you're moving forward whether this person likes it or not. Look, sleepless nights, this person can't rest. 
they're doing a whole lot of crying over you, okay? Um, thinking about everything that you said to them, thinking about the things that they did to you. Judgment. I'm, you know, all of this is starting to come out in reverse now. Um, I feel like this person, they know they're getting their karma. They're under judgment. They're having nightmares about you. Oh, they could be being shown, too, what's about to happen for you in the future. Through dreams, nightmares. Okay? Oh, so... If, the, if you haven't met this new emperor yet, you will. They know about it. They're being shown. You could be a Cancer, Taurus, Aries. Oh, man, this person's heartbroken. Yeah. I feel like they're seeing into your future. And they're seeing you getting committed with an emperor. Somebody that there's no way... No way is this new emperor going to let anybody else step towards you, okay? They're going to protect and defend you. They're going to protect this connection. And I feel like in your future, see, this is them being swept away in some kind of dream, moving forward, being shown by the universe, by the divine. Um, nightmares, right? About your wedding day, okay? In the future. Nightmares about you um, getting pregnant with somebody else in the future. They're being shown all of this. Oh, man. And that when they wake up from this nightmare, this person is crying, shaking, realizing that they could have had this wish fulfillment. They could have had a commitment with you. And now you're getting, you're going to, you're about to get committed to somebody else. So that's in your future. Um, yeah, if you haven't already met them. But this person is an emotional mess when they wake up from this dream. And I feel like this is a reoccurring dream because this is a pattern here. This is a reoccurring dream that spirit keeps showing them, okay? That you are moving on. And I'm telling you, really dreamy energy. Some of you could be moving or moving into a new home, meeting new love getting pregnant in the future remember i said you may not even know about that yet right it's true i feel like all of this you don't know about yet and this but this person from your past does they do sorry this person from your past does um they're being shown yeah they're being shown your look and this is in the future see you're already with your emperor and there's your child, grown to like age five. Okay, they're being shown something in your future. I'm telling you. Ugh. Man. Clarify this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? I just feel like they're contemplating over this. They're thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, yeah, see, and you're getting new love. They can feel you detaching. They can feel you breaking away. Okay? And you're the one for them. Look, they're being shown this. And they're being shown that you're about to get somebody new. You may not be aware that they're having these dreams. You may not be aware of this coming in your future, but they sure are. And they are, wow, this is bringing them to their knees. Making them angry, jealous, envious. Yeah, because they can see somebody's about to approach you. Look at that. I feel like this is breaking their ego, too. They, they are coming out as um, a king of swords energy. This is somebody who could have been very arrogant in the past, very nasty with their communication. They could have given you an, a very harsh, abrupt cut off, ghosted you, or said something really insulting to you when they left. Okay? Um, yeah, but now they're, um, they're reduced to night energy. Okay? I feel like you've broken this person's ego. They're on their knees. Okay? They're, they're in a whole lot of regret for turning their back on you. And I, I just know. They know. 
I, I wanted to say, I just know it. When this new person comes in, they're finished. Yep. Yep. And that door will be closed forever. Forever. For the rest of their life. This is something that they're having a really hard time dealing with. And they're exhausted because they're unable to sleep. If they're sleeping, they're getting nightmares. They're waking up several times during the night. These are re It's a reoccurring dream about you and what's going to happen in your future. It's, it's giving me the, the vibe of, um, what's that movie, A Christmas Carol? Is that what it's called? With the ghost of past, the Christmas past, present, and future. They're being shown your future. Spirit showing them your future. Okay. And they know that this is coming to an end. And you're, you could already have this person blocked. I feel like you've already made a decision to move on and put this behind you. Yeah, look, you're, you're upgrading. I feel like you're being upgraded in every area, okay? Um, heightened abilities, all right? Um, your senses are being heightened. Your abundance, uh, because you are coming out as an empress, all right? So you're leveling up, you're upgrading, and that means in love, too. You're about to get an emperor, the, uh, uh, the right one for you. feel like this person and their ego and the way they've trash-talked you and um, the way they walked away from you, I feel like this person is a karmic, and you're leaving them behind. They could have had an empress. They could have had an empress, you could be a Gemini, Taurus, Aries. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person from your past, they could even be getting some tarot card readings about you. All right? But I really, I'm getting the heavy feeling. Yeah, look, you could be a Sagittarius. I'm getting the feeling like um, they're seeing into your future. Uh, but through dreams, spirits leading them through the whole dream every night, maybe, maybe several times a night. Yeah. And they, they drink, they're still very, um, like boastful. They're still very smug. Okay. But they're spying on you. They're watching you from afar. They may, um, it's almost like this person, maybe at one point they were holding the sword up. Like they wanted to say something about it, but um, they're they're not talking. What do they have to say? You know, I feel like this person, the way they left you behind, was really harsh. Okay, this is somebody who could drink a lot as well. <clears throat> they could have put you in third party situations. I feel like in the past. This was their ego, their arrogance, maybe being boastful and bragging about how they were hurting other people, you know, maybe treated you more of like a conquest, you know, um, yeah, but now it's them in page energy. See, you keep knocking this person down. They go from a king, right, all arrogant and nasty to a knight, right? Um, that knocks them down a peg and now they're being knocked down to a page. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, now they're being knocked down to a page. Like you are totally wrecking this person's ego, but you know what? I'm, you're not doing anything to them. You're just moving on. Okay. And you're in this earth angel energy where you're right now. You're in this manifestation energy where you're mixing up and manifesting a new soulmate connection. Okay, wanting to try something new, um, up being upgraded in pretty much every area of your life and getting new love. All they can really do is watch right now. Yeah, you're about to be happy, and here comes this new person. I'm telling you, they're already entering into your energy, or this could be um, you already meeting this new person, or you just met somebody. This is going to end up being your emperor. You're going to marry this person in your future, and you're going to be having their baby, okay? 
and you're going to be moving on and maybe even moving to a new location. That's what you have in store for you, for whoever this is resonating with, okay? Um, but that this is what this person's being shown. This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Um, they could be a uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I feel like they're shook, okay? This person's um, balance is completely shaken up when they have these nightmares about you. Yep, and I feel like that's this is the divine showing them everything. Okay, this is also a missed opportunity. Crying over spilled milk. This person could wake up in tears. They know they realize that they had a chance at this blessing, and now this blessing is is going to you and a new emperor. And really, there's nothing they can do about it. Their ego got the best of them. You know. The way, the way they mishandled you, the way that they treated you, the way they boasted about it, it, it you know, it all um, kind of came back on them, okay? It all backfired, and they know it. Look, they are so jealous. This person could have um, gotten with someone else to try to make you jealous, make you try to chase them, right? That's what they could have wanted was for you to keep trying to chase this person so you could feed their ego. They really liked third-party situations. See how these three cups are grouped together? And there's another three cups grouped together. Now we've got two and a third in their hand. They liked third parties because it fed their ego. Okay? This person may in the future, either they already did try to... Um, hook up with somebody new to make you jealous or this is what they're planning on doing in the future okay but it's not if that's their only plan they really have nothing okay and there's no way once you meet this new emperor you're not going to you're not going to want to leave this emperor behind for this person they they're toxic they're egotistical they're arrogant No. Feel like they could be sending you some bad juju, sending some bad energy to a star. You could be in the public eye. If you're in the public eye or you have your own internet platform or social media, they're watching whatever you're doing and they're just, they're hating on everything. This, this person... You know, honestly, I, I got to say, I don't like this person. And you're not speaking to them anymore. You have every right to go out here and be a star um, and, and meet new people, okay? Whatever you're doing online, there's a, you're getting more love from so many. There's more people who love what you're doing and more people who are giving you love and appreciation than this one person who's sending you hate, okay? Okay? Yeah, now, they don't, I just get the sense they don't know what else to do. All right? I'm also getting that um, you're going to meet somebody new here and you're about to go out on a date. Yeah, you're about to start dating and starting your life again, and they're being shown everything, and they wake up in regret, shook, um, sweaty, right? They wake up knowing that you're ruining their ego, okay? They're not laughing anymore, that's for sure. They send you bad energy because they're jealous of you. They don't, they don't like the feeling of their ego slipping away, okay? Nothing is, nothing's having an effect on you either. So, um, yeah, you're about to get wish fulfillment, and they are being shown that in dreams and nightmares. Um, let's just get a couple of oracles for you. What can you show me for my collective? Yeah, it's time to go. You're leaving this person behind. You're starting something new here, collective. You're walking away from this person. And I'm really getting the sense heavy that this was a karmic, 
you you may have thought that this was your true twin flame or your true soulmate connection. No, this was a karmic. And you're releasing them here. And as you move forward, you're about to meet or you have already met this emperor. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, look, new opportunities come. Look, I'm telling you. You're grabbing a hold of something new. And I feel like this is your new connection coming in. You guys are going to build an empire together. This is generational wealth. This is both of you being honest with each other. Okay? This is your new person coming in, I feel. So, yeah, you're moving on. And I feel like you already know that the one, this one here that had walked away from you and were, they were nasty, they were arrogant, egotistical, that was a karmic individual, okay? You haven't even, most of you haven't even met whoever's listening to this. You've either just met this emperor or you haven't even met them yet. Okay, so, so get ready to be loved the right way right way